Hey y'all, how y'all doing today? Have you ever heard of American pickers picking the back rows of America? Have you ever heard of Matt part-time pickers on YouTube? Have you ever heard of the Cincinnati picker? Have you ever heard of the of the uh, of, of Lonnie? From garage, flip, flip, garage to the shed, whatever. Have you ever heard of the Commonwealth Picker? Have you ever heard of my boy Dave from Kentucky? I call him TP, the Tesla Picker. He picking for a Tesla. Anyway, y'all, this is Kevin from St. Louis, and I just want to tell y'all, that we pick in the hood too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway, y'all, this is what sold video. You know, I gotta go over some things that I sold. Okay, first thing first. I'm glad the president is out the hospital. You know, even though he, he playing, he's still in danger. Doctor like say he's still in danger, but he walking around like he's not. But anyway, I'm glad to see that he's up and walking around and stuff because I, I don't want nothing to happen to nobody. You know, I don't care who you vote for or whoever. I don't care. You can vote for anybody you want to vote for, but I don't want nothing to happen to nobody. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, got that out the way. Okay, first off, I want to, um, let me see what I got. First thing I got, I sold some lipstick that I bought a long time ago. Y'all remember when I bought all that lipstick for a dollar at Walmart when, when we was, when we was uh, under siege? You know what I'm saying? I told y'all how to how to go find clearance anywhere. Well, anyway, that's what I'm doing. We're going to get this out this little, little drawer down here. Hold on a minute now. This the lipstick drawer right here. See right here? This where all the lipstick and stuff at. It's an 830. 830. 830 lipstick. There it is. That's what I sold. Sold that. Okay, I sold that for um let me see. Eight dollars and fifty cent and um you know, free shipping and handling. And uh, in a minute I'm gonna show y'all how I ship this lipstick and stuff. But anyway, for now we're just gonna keep it going. Okay, next up I sold a vintage. This vintage, it says vintage. Um, fish hook sharpener. There's a Venice fixer fish hook sharpener right here, and I sold this for twenty eight dollars. No shipping and handling. I don't know why I did that. Okay, next up is um. Uh, I'm sorry. Whoa. I don't know why I keep dropping stuff with y'all here. Anyway, a Vonage. I sold a Vonage. Uh, this this is uh, some kind of uh service box or something anyway i sold this i paid four dollars for this and i sold it for um eleven dollars and ninety cents i think i paid two dollars for this but anyway eleven dollars and ninety cents what i sold it for two dollars shipping and handling okay i sold i sold another one of these uh one of these uh chainsaw softeners sold another one of these you know for 13 y'all know i said these for 13 dollars 13 dollars and 20 cents Sold another one. I think I got one more. I bought four of them for a dollar. I mean, for a dollar fifty a piece. I bought four of them. So I sold fourteen items, y'all. So we gonna like speed through this stuff. I sold um, Tiger Woods two thousand three PC game. Remember y'all? I bought all them PC games for a dollar. I'm selling them like crazy. Anyway, this two thousand three Tiger Woods. I sold it for. Um, Ten dollars and ninety cent. Okay, uh, let me get let me move this paper so I can see. Ten dollars and ninety cent. That's how much I sold it for. I sold an eyeglass case, Ocean Pacific eyeglass case right here. Y'all know I pay a dollar for these. I sold this one for um, eight dollars and fifty cent. Whatever. I got like four more of these. Eight dollars and fifty cents is what I sold it for. Okay, next up is the puzzle ball. I don't know what that said. I got to find that, y'all. It's a puzzle ball. I'm going to put a picture on the screen what it looked like. Anyway, I, I got to look for it. I'm not organized like y'all. Anyway, um, next up, 
Ray-Ban. Some Ray-Ban glasses I, I bought. They go, it's going to be on the screen. I'm not going to take it out this package. It's going to be on the screen. I paid a dollar for this. For the case, the glasses, and the cloth in there. The thing is, y'all, let me tell you how much I, I sold them for. $81. I sold these for $81. I paid a dollar for it. But the thing is, when you go to these thrift stores, and the eyeglass cases is a dollar, and the eyeglasses are a dollar. But if you get a case with the eyeglass in them, it's still a dollar. So they should have took the glasses out. So that's what I got that for. Now on those glasses, they they worth like two hundred dollars. But on those glasses, the the um, this the, the 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 shielding they put on there is coming off. You know, like the film they put over the glasses to keep the glare off and stuff is peeling off of there. So I put that in the description and stuff like that. If that wasn't on there, them glasses would have sold for two hundred dollars. Those Ray Bans would have sold for two hundred dollars. But anyway, so. I sold them for $81, free shipping. Okay, next up is uh, the Venice Slide Rule. I'm going to put that picture on there too because I don't know where that's at. I'm about to find that. Uh, I don't know. I got so much stuff, I don't know where it's at. I don't have no kind of organization skills. So I got to find it. It ain't going to take that long. Because it's something recent that I bought. Okay, the next item up is the... Uh, I sold a, uh, another computer game that I bought for a dollar. The Barbie game. I got like 15 of these Barbie games that I bought for a dollar. This Barbie, this is a Barbie boutique. Well, I guess you you can do people hair and stuff. I, I don't know. Design jewelry. I don't know what you do with this. Sell clothes. Or something. I don't know. Ask your kids. Anyway, that sold for um, $15. I paid a dollar for it. I sold for 15 okay? So, y'all just chill for a minute. That's sold for $15. Next up is L.L. Bean uh, waders. You know, when you get when you're fishing, you put your feet in the water, you wear the waders. Let me turn you around so you can see. Got it packed up. See this? It's, this is like a long bibs. It's bibs with boots built in on the bottom. I got these from the bins, and I think they they weighed them. They weigh, I think it's like 60 something cent a pound or some crap. Anyway, they 39 cent a pound. So this is probably like five pounds. I probably paid about three dollars for this. Okay. So for uh the waiter sold for fifty-five dollars, fourteen, fourteen dollars shipping and handling, fifty-five dollars. I paid three dollars for them. I hate that bins. It suck. But I saw them, I knew they were going to sell because people like fishing and people like getting in that water. Okay? Next up is a Hoover hand tool. I paid a dollar for this at, at uh, Goodwill. You know, that sold for $19.50, free shipping. I don't know why I, all these items I got going out, it's free shipping. I don't know why I did that. Because y'all know I usually put at least $2 in shipping. But this sold for... Um, $19.50. Okay, next up is uh oh I saw some some Pixar um some Pixar um cars. So let me turn you around. We gotta go in my cabinet right away all my cars and stuff at. Yeah, I want D to see this. You know, this first drawer right here full of micro machines. See all the micro machines? I gotta list all that. Second drawer. It's got more micro machines with all Star Wars. That's just some of my Star Wars stuff. This drawer right here got some Hot Wheels in it. This the drawer right here that's gonna have the cars. The rest of them got Hot Wheels. Okay. The 123. 123 right here. I sold that one. That sold for $5.90. $3 shipping and handling. Oh, here it is. This is um uh Mattel Mattel uh Disney Pixar Finn McQueen I mean Finn McMissile that's the name of this car Finn McMissile The other name for this car is um Todd Marcus something like that Anyway 
This one sold for five dollars ninety cents, three dollars shipping and handling. Finn McMissile sold for um seven dollars and, and uh seventy cent, two dollars shipping and handling. Okay, yeah, yeah. This got high wheel. Look at all the cars. Look at this. Look at that. So much stuff. I need to list some of this stuff. I need to list this stuff. I don't want y'all to see my, my part of the room. My part of the room is jacked. My white part of the room is... This my side. Look at all this stuff over there. This my wife's side. My wife neat. See? Messy. Neat. Messy. Look at all that. Whew, I, I don't even have half that listed. They, I don't even think I got a fourth of that listed over there. That's how much stuff I got. But anyway, neat. Well, whatever. I'm a man. I don't have to have no, no, no neat stuff. My stuff had to be unorganized. But let me show y'all how I wrap this stuff up. Follow me around. Okay. First of all, we're going to go in here. And we're going to get some bubble wrap. Don't laugh at the Christmas tree. My wife keeps Christmas tree up all year round. I don't know why. That's crazy. Okay. Gotta get some bubble wrap first. What the? Okay. All right, y'all. Gotta get some bubble wrap. And then, I'm gonna put it on top of these waders. I save old. Where my toilet paper stuff at? Sorry, y'all. Hold on. Let me put y'all on pause. Okay, y'all, I'm back. What I do with these cars and stuff, I take old toilet paper rolls and old, um, like, paper towel rolls, see these? And, um, cut them in half. I cut the length of the car, whatever the length of the car is. Cut them like that. And what I do, I wrap them in bubble wrap and I stick them in here. Like this. Then I put them in a, a regular mailing envelope. That's all I use. I use a regular mailing envelope. That's all I use. Okay, let me show you. Take the bubble wrap. Put it in the corner like that. Wrap the car up. See how I wrap that up? Then we're going to use this other corner for the other car. Okay? Cut it. See? Fold it up like that. Stick it in there. Sometimes you have to really stuff it in there. So let me do this. Okay, I'm gonna do it this way. I'm gonna cut a little bit of this off. Cut a little bit off. Too much. Then stick it in there. And I use these, these, uh, first of all, I like to recycle. Second of all, I use these to give it a little strength. So when I put it in this envelope, well, let me get the small. I, I like to use, I use these big ones. Sometimes I use these small ones right here. Hold on. I might use the small ones today. Sometimes I use these small ones. Okay. Let's stick it in here. Mash it a little bit. Close it up. This is how I mail this stuff. Just like this. If it get lost, it get lost. I don't care. I melt it. And they got the tracking number. But this is like, if they lose this, then they'll lose a little piece of mail. Look how thick this is. They ain't gonna lose this. They they, they take mail like this and, and ship it all the time. But anyway, this is the way I ship these. I don't use the... When something that cheap, I don't usually use my bubble, my 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 bubble uh, envelopes, stuff like that. 
I use cheap stuff. I can get shit, 50 of these for what, at, at the dollar store for a dollar. So I use these for cheap stuff. Same thing with that lipstick. I'm going to wrap this lipstick up. Take this. Well, this is for that other car, though, but I'm going to take this for the lipstick for now. I take it, put the lip, make sure the bubbles, see the bubbles? Or where you're going to put the, the, the merchandise or the product. So I put the bubbles on the side where the merchandise at. And I roll this up real tight. And I put I put the lipstick in the envelope too. Just like get a small envelope, put that in there. But I tape I tape the lipstick. And sometimes I do put it in one of those rolls. But that's the way I, I ship stuff out. Just like that. Cars, like anything that's small, that's real cheap. I'm not putting no expensive stuff. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm not putting no expensive envelopes and stuff like that. It's, it's something that I sold for eight dollars and free shipping. I'm not doing it. So, and then another thing, y'all. I'm just cheap. So y'all, y'all don't, y'all rich, y'all can do that. I'm not. But anyway, another thing, I put the sticker, I put the the mailing label on here, all the way around. Okay, I've got good. I put it on here. I put the scanner where they scan it at. I put it, try to put it right on the corner, and I wrap it around. Make sure the address is right here, and my address is right here, and the rest of it go folded around the back. So I wish I had a sample to show y'all, but I put it. Say this the the shipping label. I put it right here. Right here, this is where they scan it at. Then I roll the rest of it on around. So it's rolled around the front. It's got the person address right here. And my address up there. So I make sure that they can see it. Anyway, I just want to show y'all how I ship this stuff out. The small stuff, the small cheap stuff. Okay? That's how you do it. Alright y'all, well, this is like a, supposed to be a quick video on what I sold. But I went and rambled on. You know what I'm saying? Showing y'all how I ship little cheap stuff out. But that's how I do it. I'm cheap. So you're going to get some cheap stuff. I've been back in the gym lifting. <laughs> going to get back up there. But anyway, y'all. I'm going to be 60 next year. So I'm, I'm going to lose power about 60 pounds. Get back down to what I used to be. I'm back in the gym. Y'all can see them traps coming up there. Yeah, see them traps? Anyway, yeah. Anyway, y'all, this is Kevin from St. Louis. If y'all like this video, give it a thumbs up. If y'all don't like it, give it an I don't care. I don't. Anyway, whatever. Whatever that is, they need to get rid of that. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, subscribe. Tell your buddies to subscribe. And um, all I got to say, whoo, 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 whoo. We picked in the hood, too. <laughs> yeah, peace.